Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Katie. Happy birthday to you. This is your birthday sprint wake up call. No, my brain is just mush, mush. But happy birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. We're going to celebrate it like it's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's going to call motherfucker birthday. Birthday. <laughs> She's turning it's 42. Birthday. She's turning 42. Doesn't look a day over six. For I don't know what I'm talking about. Over six. <laughs> if you think I'm not gonna put this in my reading vlog, you are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's fucking genius. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's happening now. Now you can say that. Yes, ma'am. It's finally here. It's finally here. And when I tell you that they left, they left this three and a half thousand dollar box on my front door and just left. And I didn't know it was there for an hour. That was the most perilous hour of my life and I didn't even know what danger I was in. My beautiful computer. I haven't opened the box yet. I'm terrified. Okay. There's a cool pool tab. I'm so nervous. Okay. Oh my god, that is satisfying. Oh my god, it like, it opens like, boom! Oh, shit. Wow. Wow, wow, oh my god. This time we're gonna be delicate. We're not gonna do our classic Katie Coulson rip open. Okay. Oh my god, this box is thick. Wow. What? Stunning, damn, this Apple is way bigger than I thought it would be on the cover. I've never had a MacBook before. I've never had an iPad, anything like that. This is so, I'm freaking out. Like this is a fucking big girl purchase right here. Let's see, how does it? Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. What, it just starts immediately. What the fuck? I ain't even gotta charge it. Bro, bro. Oh, hey, what? Look at her. Oh my God. Stunning, stunning. Okay. To use English as the main language, press the return key. <sighs> okay, okay. Apparently the password that I had written down for my Apple ID was incorrect, but we figured it out. Yeah, of course, I've read the terms. I've totally read the terms, all the terms, and I agree with every term. Thank you, Apple. Oh, girl, you know we can't have that basic ass icon. We gotta have something different. What are we gonna do? Do the, the dinosaur head. Oh, there we go. I'll probably change it later, but that's cute. Well, I guess I could show you. So I'm gonna do this one. I really wanted to do the crown and then this, but for now, we gonna do this bunny. Hey. Hi, what's up? Hello, even. This is Katie, coming to you <laughs> from an embarrassingly vulnerable situation. I have taken about two weeks. Oh, no, 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 not two weeks. I've taken about a week off of reading. I haven't read anything for like seven, eight days. That has not happened for like two and a half years. I read every single, I finish like a book a day, seriously. But you all know, you already know, that I fell into the rabbit hole of watching Suits, the TV show, which has nine seasons. And a couple hours ago, I watched the series finale. And when I tell you, I was crying. When I tell you, I was crying. When I tell you, it took me four hours to watch one episode, the series finale. Because like, I literally had to leave my house and go get Duncan and come back. Because I was like, I can't do this. I can't do this. <laughs> So upset. I'm like, oh my God. And I played the scenes over and over. I swear I must have watched the episode four times. Like the scene of the dancing, the wedding dancing. Stop. Holding the baby? Ew. God. Disgusting. I love it. I'm 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 distraught. Okay. But listen, 
I have a job to do. I took a break. I, I took a break. It did not do well for me mentally, I'm gonna tell you, but I took a break. But I need to get back into the game. Because I was like, I can't listen to anything or read anything that's like gonna make me think because I'm not gonna be thinking. I don't, I want to be distracted, you know? I think what I'm gonna do is listen to Scandalous by LJ Shen. That's the plan. Is it gonna go according to plan? I don't know. Let's get to reading. The worst out of the seven deadly sins, in my opinion anyway. And my opinion was the one that mattered in that moment under the unforgiving sun of SoCal on a May afternoon on Toto Santos's promenade. I'm doing a reading sprints with the lovely Erin. And the absolutely lovely Rebecca with a K was helping me try to figure out some of my computer issues. And she's absolutely amazing. And we talked for like half an hour and I was like, okay, I'm gonna like hit you back up later. I'm gonna try to figure some stuff out. So that was amazing of her, like amazing. <laughs> like I'm like, I should be working for you. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I was started listening to Scandalous and I am enjoying it, but I just can't get Darby out of my head. I can't get it out of my head. So I went and I bought the Kindle book and the, the audio book for Practice Makes Perfect by who knows? I don't know. But Erin said that she saw that it had like Darby vibes and that people said that it reminded them of Darby. And I was like, okay, so I'm going to read that. I'm going to start that. I'm so... I'm going to be comparing it. Maybe it sucks. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. But I'm going to start listening to it and we'll see. All right. It is like 1 a.m. or something. Anyway, uh, I am... I don't know how far I am into Practice Makes Perfect, but I'm pretty damn far. I have to at least be halfway. And I am really enjoying it. I will say this has more of like the hating game vibes where it's like rivals to lovers and I'm really enjoying it. It's definitely not like, okay, so for the suits comparison. Hi. Um, this isn't like Donna Harvey vibes. This is more like Harvey Mike vibes. So for all the people that love like the Marvy thing, which, you know, that's not me. Love it for you. That's not me. But for anybody that really loves that ship, you would like this or like, I don't know. It definitely has suits vibes in terms of like the law atmosphere and like the law firm atmosphere. And, you know, I don't know this author, you know, like Julia James, but she seems to be doing a really damn good job of like setting the like lawyer tone and like the, I don't know, like all the jargon that she's using. Like, I'm not a lawyer. What do I know? But like, it feels tense in an authentic way, in my opinion. I'm enjoying it. I really am enjoying it. I like the characters. I like their tension. The tension feels, I mean, like authentic. Like, I mean, obviously it's like heightened, but it doesn't feel silly. Like they shouldn't be feeling this way toward each other. I don't know. I'm liking it. It's like two lawyers who thought that they were both going to become partners, but then we're told that because of age discrimination, both of them can't be hired because they're the same age and uh, they're under 40 because they're both like 32 ish. So they're like only one person under 40 can be hired for this position. So now they're competing on which one of them it's going to be. And I'm really enjoying it. I think it's good. The one thing I'll say is that the guy, JD, well, one, JD and Peyton are like the whitest names I've ever heard. Also, they are in incredibly white. This book is incredibly white. So I'm not enjoying that necessarily. But um, anyway, uh, the guy JD, there's so many like on site misogynistic shit that he says that I'm like, are you kidding me right now? Like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, I, I uh, it's like, I like JD as a character. Sans these random shit that he's like, there's so many good things that he does. But then I'm like, why are you saying that? Like the misogynistic shit. I'm like, what are you doing? Like he's acting like she has a one up on him because she's a woman. And he's like, well, women are going to get it because nobody's helping out like the white men. And I was like, I would stab you in the face. I would take the pins and the cup holder and I would put them through your eyes. Are you fucking kidding me? Disgusting, vile, sick. 
but I'm, I'm trying to like disillusion myself of like avoiding that and liking everything else. So anyway, I'm gonna keep doing this puzzle and see how much longer I can stay awake and read this book. Hello, it is, it's day two, but, but what is the day today? I hope it's Thursday and not Friday because if it's Friday, then I have to go to work tomorrow. But if it's Thursday, I have an extra day. I honestly don't know. Listen, let's not think about it. Okay, um, hi, it's the second day of this video for however long this video is gonna last. But uh, it's like 3.30 p.m. I did wake up, not just now, trust me. I woke up at like 10.30, okay? We were like kind of adulting. And I finished Practice Makes Perfect by Julia James. And I liked it, I did like it. I think it definitely, like as I was saying last night, it has suits vibes in terms of like the atmosphere and the vibes of the show like it really does so if you like that kind of law atmosphere where like there's rivalries there's people getting undercut um the jargon is on point like it's not like bogged down by law jargon and like intellect but it's just enough there that you feel like the author kind of knows what she's talking about or like i was seriously like kind of impressed like it wasn't just like oh yeah we're like okay the hating game i feel like because people were comparing this to The Hating Game, and I guess I can, I can, I see vaguely the parallels, but in The Hating Game, I didn't learn anything about their profession. I was like, what are y'all talking about? You do what? Oh, okay. But like in Practice Makes Perfect, I believed the author. I was like, I, I believe it. I see what she's saying. You know, even if I don't understand like what the case is about, these lawyers are doing, I understand how it's affecting the plot. Do you know what I'm saying? Anyway, um, I really liked it. I stand by the fact that JD, the main guy, I did not like that like overt masculine misogyny. And it's like, I know that in romances, it's supposed to be like, oh my God, but like he comes around and like realizes that he was wrong. I'm like, I don't know how you can fall in love with somebody that's saying that stuff in the first place. But it was weird because it was like, it was totally other from his main characteristics. Like for the, for the, um, overt plot what am i saying his character as a whole is great like i really like jd but then he would do some stupid shit where i was like why would you say that why would you say that like, that's so stupid but anyway um i did enjoy it i think i'm gonna give it three and a half stars part of me wants to give it four stars because i was like i don't know i'm like it is good like for a romance like it's good i really enjoyed it but i think i am gonna give it three and a half stars because i feel like i can't give it four stars because of the misogynistic shit that he said. But it's good. Like, I, I suggest it. I do suggest it. I think it was fun. And then yesterday, I went by uh, Half Race Books and I went book shopping and didn't film any of it and didn't even think about it until I was halfway through and I was like, whatever. But these are the things I got. So I finally picked up a copy of The Atlas Six. This is so freaking stunning. I did have this on my like birthday wish list, but then I took it off and just bought it myself because I saw it in the store and I was like, I can't. I can't not buy it. it. And it was full price. This was like 25 bucks. Yeah, and it's $25.99 um, real price. But like, look at this. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, I can't even imagine all these um, exclusive editions. I'm like, how can they be prettier than this? Like, how is that possible? And then the little artwork, absolutely stunning. And I have the ARC copy. I have the ARC copy and now I'm like, do I keep both? But I need to reread this because I listened to the audio and it is very complex. And I need to go back because I know there's a lot of shit that I was missing and I need to annotate because I really enjoyed this. And at the time, I think I gave it four and a half stars, but I'm hoping upon reread, I will give it five stars. And then another one I'd already read and given five stars is Richard Osman's, oh, I can take this sticker off? <gasps> Bet. Oh, hold please. Nope, shit. Okay. I'm gonna have to get the hair dryer. Um, this is The Man Who Died Twice by Richard Osman. And this was awesome because they had two new editions of this book for $21. But then this one that had like, I taped it, but it had a rip here and a rip here. This was $7.99. And I was like, bitch, the fuck? Everything else looks perfect. I absolutely love this book. This is the second in the um, Thursday Night Murder Club series. And I don't own the first one. I'm hoping to get that one soon and reread them. But I absolutely love this. And then a book I haven't read. This is the last one. I bought Fruits Basket Volume 1 by Natsuke Tayaka, uh, or Takaya. And I have heard so many people talk about this. And let me tell you, the cover and like the art and stuff, this doesn't look like something that would be for me. But the amazing readings that I've heard about this, I... I I can't describe. Like, literally, people 
go gaga over this manga series and they're freaking huge which is hilarious to me but I'm like isn't there like 20 editions of this book like it's something absurd and I have no idea what it's about for some reason I want to say it's like that people can turn into animals but I might be it looks like I'm completely wrong because I'm like not seeing any animals I don't know what I'm talking about I don't know what this book is about I don't know, but I bought it and I'm going to read it. And honestly, today I'm planning on doing readings friends because I've been severely lacking on doing them. And I just got my new computer and I need to figure my shit out, but I'm planning on either starting the charm offensive, which I do have the audio on hold and it's only going to be like four weeks to come in, which means hopefully less than that, but I kind of want to start it. And then I kind of also want to start fruits basket. I'm not totally sure. I'm not decided on what I'm going to start, but I did re pick up scandalous by lj shin and i am listening to that and the only thing i have to say so far i don't like the narrator's voices like don't get me wrong like their voices like technically are sexy but it's like put on like it's too much also the main character's name is edie that is not hot that's not edie like i'm sorry if anybody out there is watching this and your name's edie like you know I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. So many people are going to be like, what the fuck? Like my wife's name's Edie or something. I'm sorry. But like in a erotica, I'm confused. Anyway, I need to go to Goodwill and drop off some stuff and I will be listening to my audiobook on the way. <laughs> Hello. <coughs> We're not going to cut it out because I only have a minimal amount of time before Grace knocks on my door. But I am currently watching a premiere of a reading vlog that I did. And it is Sunday. And shockingly, so I went to work yesterday all day. And like, I did reading, but um, I didn't film because I was at work. But I got the day off today. So I started a by early. I got a day early on my um, birthday vacation. So Grace is coming over because as you would have already seen, I built my treadmill, which took a lot longer than I thought and was a lot more difficult than I thought, especially because let me just spin you around. That shit was so fucking heavy. Goddamn. But I needed her to come over and help me with my like feng shui, you know, because I don't know. Let me show you. This is the best that I could do. And I think this is probably how I'm going to keep it. But like, it's just a little awkward. And then this thing that used to be right here, I moved into my bedroom and I don't like the way it looks. But let's talk about how well my mint plant is going. Oh, hello. This is the best I could do. Oh, wow. It doesn't fold up really, does it? It, it does, but it doesn't really um, it looks weird. change anything. You know, I'm just not realizing that I'm like, if I'd gotten the one that folded down, yeah. probably would have been better, but it works. Yeah. Okay. Grace is helping me decide some things. You know what's hilarious? Grace was like, this couch is just aesthetics. You can lean up against this to do puzzles. And then like two seconds later, it sits on it. I was like, look, it's useful. It's useful for me, but you never use it. Yeah, but you're over here all the time. Uh -huh. Um. So this is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Obsessed. Credenza, shout out to my mom. Um, but I don't use it. I don't watch this TV. I, we've only watched it two times when we watched No Exit and The Hating Game. And I just don't, I don't need it. Like Grace is like, Grace is helping me. She's telling me Marie Kondo this yeah, shit. You could literally get a projector if you really, really wanted to. Ooh. Yeah. That would be stunning. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to see about moving my gaming systems to my bookshelf and see about like removing this and see how that will help 
with the space because, well, her, for starters, Grace Movie this year already is good because I know this place is like really kind of cluttered here with like big furniture and stuff. And my bedroom doesn't have much in it. But like for me, the bedroom, it's like carpet and bed and I sleep there and <laughs> that's it. Time only. Sleepy time only. Like I don't want to do anything in there. It's just like, it does, it's not the vibe, but here is the vibe. And then I stream from right there and I'm going to be walking while I read. So I need it to be in view of the camera. So we're going to just time lapse that. All right. Hey y'all, it is uh, much later in the day. Uh, it's like 5.30 p.m. or something, but earlier Grace was helping me kind of reorganize and have a new view of my apartment because I'm somebody who it's really hard for me to view things differently than how they already are, like to picture it in my head. So if something is already, this is like when I moved in, I told my parents, I was like, please don't touch anything because the second it sat down on a surface, I'm not gonna be able to see it in any other way. Like if you put it in the cabinet, that's where it's gonna be forever. So I needed to like think about it. So I have to have somebody else like <laughs> move things around or tell me like what they think would look good and then try it out. And I officially decided, Grace was like, you should just get rid of the credenza. It's beautiful, but you don't use it. You don't use your TV. So this is where this is now. And it's so much more open. Like, look at this. This is freaking stunning. Let me actually get a little farther back. This is the credenza and it's absolutely gorgeous. Like it's an absolutely gorgeous piece of mid century modern furniture, but I don't use it. I just don't. And what she said was she was like, you should put your gaming systems up at the top. I'll show you that in a second. Um, but also like the lighting equipment is what usually is over there. So that makes sense. But we've got space for our Monstera to be absolutely monstrous as it has become. And we've got my treadmill in view of the live streaming, which is idyllic. And then I've got like the knickknack stuff over here. Um, that's not where it's going to stay. I just haven't figured out what I'm going to do with that yet. But let's see. <laughs> nice and open. And then up here, I have my gaming systems. Like so... And it just frees up so much room. And then of course, like I still have bunches of room for books. Like there's so much room down there. I did end up putting my yearbooks down here because they're so heavy that I'm just like terrified to put them on here. I mean, maybe it would be fine, but I'm too scared to do that. So they are going to go on the floor. And then I put like the blankets in here and then I'm um, getting rid of this blanket because it's stunning, but it doesn't like feel soft. Like it, it's so pretty, but like it's not soft. So I'm gonna get rid of that and I replaced it with this one because it is soft even though it doesn't look as good, but I love it. And then uh, also a uh, subscriber, Gabby, gave that to me. So I love it. And then I, I've already sold the TV. I put it on Facebook Marketplace and it sold within an hour, but like this and the Apple TV is gonna take longer, obviously. But this is how it is looking right now. I'm kind of considering like keeping those there instead of having them over here. I don't know, like what do you think? Then I also have this. Listen, we're doing things. We're working, we're we're melding, we're working. And Grace said that I need to get a piece of art to put here. I don't know what to put there. That is a problem for another day. But as of right now, things are moving, they're shaking, they're changing, and they are looking pretty damn good. Hello. It is the next day because I swear I am the best categorically the best at reading vlogs, at updating reading vlogs, at updates in general. I am A plus. Uh, it, it's, it's hilarious. I didn't update you at all yesterday. I swear, you have no idea. I read so much. Like I read so much. Do I tell you about it? No, I do not. I do not. Instead of updating you on my reading, I'm like, I could just be reading more. It's bad. Literally, Jordan line yesterday, we were sprinting for eight hours. And you would think in those, like, 45 minutes of sprinting, I could have updated you. No. 
Mm, no. And then she was like, girl, you need to like do something for yourself. Like, why do you, why do you do this? Like, you're just like obsessed. I'm like, yeah. She's like, this is like mentally not healthy. I was like, I know. I know. I know. It's not like I've already read 140 books this year and it's only June. Okay, anyway. Anyway. Um, hey. That's my cue. Uh, not only did I not tell you that I finished The Violence by Delilah, Delilah Dawson, I didn't even tell you what it was about. Okay. Hello. Uh, one, the book's way too damn long. Let's start there. The book's like 500 pages. For what? For why? Can't tell you. This is a book that has an amazing concept, okay? This is supposed to be set five years after... The COVID pandemic has basically been eradicated, but now they're hit with a new virus that's spread by mosquitoes. So, oh, I know why I didn't tell you. It's because I explained the plot to Grace and in my brain, I thought I was telling y'all. Hmm, okay. So there's this new thing called the violence that's being spread by mosquitoes. And it basically like when you get infected, every once in a while, you will just black out and you will kill, like be overcome by this urge to kill whoever it is that you just saw or whoever's next to you. And you like won't stop until you kill them. Okay, that is interesting. It's a very interesting premise. And you're following three generations of abused women, like a grandmother, a mother, and her two daughters. So cool. And basically like these women um, are using the violence as an excuse to like get rid of their abusive husbands. And just like calling the hotline and be like, oh my God, he has the violence. When really he's just violent. And then they're like coming and getting snatched up. Like, oh, you got it. Take it. And cool. Bet. But then there's like a lot of just kind of ridiculous things that are happening in this book. Or like ridiculous like avenues in which a story is being told. Like one of them is that the trigger for the violence is black pepper. Excuse me? <laughs> Delilah Dawson. Miss Dawson. The fuck? Like, what are you, what are you, black pepper? What? So it's literally like, people have black pepper and they're like snorting it and they're like going crazy and killing people. Seems a little far-fetched. And then also, um, they start this like reality show of like, uh, people who have the violence and like them fighting and wrestling each other. It's supposed to be like the TV, the Netflix TV show Glow. One, there was like, there was definitely way too many pop culture references. It's gonna, it's gonna age poorly, is what I'm saying. Because I don't think, Glow was only a thing for like one or two seasons, I think. So like, it's not even gonna be a thing in like a couple of years. People aren't even gonna remember what that is. Anyway, um, I'm gonna give it three stars because while it was fascinating and I enjoyed it, it was not executed well. Okay, anyway, after that, I read the entirety of The Picture of Dorian, or Picture of Dorian Gray, The Picture of Dorian Gray, because I had picked, like, all these books where I June TBR and said, y'all pick what you want to read, and a load of people told me to read The Picture of Dorian Gray, and I will say, I'm not going to rate it because I read it way too damn fast. I read it way too damn fast. I was enjoying my ride so much, and the writing is fucking stunning. It's so stunning. Like, if all classics were like this, bitch, I would be a classic girly. Do you know what I'm saying? But like, I was reading it too damn fast. I did not catch so much that was happening. And I know that. So I'm not going to rate it. But like, if I was going to rate it, I would give it four stars. But I'm going to read it again. I'm going to keep that, keep that in my backpack. Pull that out for a later day. And uh, y'all did not tell me. Y'all did not tell me how epically gay this book is. It's so gay. It's flagrantly gay. Like, oh my God. Bro, a picture of Dorian Gray. That shit was homosexual. Like, oh my God. I was literally reading it like, am I reading what I'm reading right now? Like, when they say like, they, they don't just say like, it's not just like yearning. It's literally a guy being like the romantic, the romantic feelings I have for him. I'm like, Oscar Wilde wrote this in like 1894. I'm screaming. Anyway, I put up a, a bunch of the eight, I, oh no, no, eight, I, 
six, eight, I don't remember. Anyway, I put up a bunch of the June picks on my Patreon for the duchesses to vote on. And I am going to pick one of the, or not pick one of those. I'm going to see whichever one got the most. And I'm going to start reading that one next. And then basically like the top three votes, I'm just going to read them in the order of like votes and see. And there's like a bunch of different ones that I put up there. I'm not going to put photos up here because I don't hate myself, but I, I know a lot. Some of the ones I put were the hollow places by T. King Fisher, um, daughter of the moon goddess, Carol, Hunting Prince Dracula. I've already forgotten. Anyway, whatever y'all vote for for the duchesses is what I'm going to read next. But right now I need to go to the grocery store and I need to go and get Starbucks because my blood sugar's low. Or should I go to Duncan? Maybe I should go to Duncan because I have a free star. I have a free birthday drink there. Anyway, let's go do that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so <laughs> I posted the poll on my Patreon and when I tell Aaron was there with a swiftness. She was there with a swiftness. Aaron commented and was like, should we buddy read The Hollow Places? And um, I'm just gonna play what I sent her. This is an hour later and I re-listened to it and I was like, Katie, what the fuck were you doing? Ah! Well, I hope you don't have headphones on right now. Oh my God, a Blue Jay just went by. Wow. What was I, what was I gonna say? Oh, um, hey! <laughs> Hey, Aaron. Oh my God. We should totally buddy read the hollow places. Are you fucking kidding me? We could literally, we could probably finish this shit at the same time. I am ready. Like, do you have the book? Because I have it downloaded. The audiobook is sitting in my library. Um, if you can't tell my blood sugar is low, I'm going to be so fucking weird. Hello. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I am fucking down, bitch. I am down. Let's go. Yeah. So, um, embarrassment aside, uh, I think we're gonna start the hollow places. I'm gonna wait until Erin messages me back because she's probably avoiding me because I'm insane. Uh, but when she messages me back, we're gonna start that book. Why, hello. I'm sure you're asking yourself, why do I have makeup on? What am I doing? Is this Katie from the first clip? Oh, oh my God, is it? Hi. Uh, it is almost my birthday. It's 11.58. It's almost the next day. It's almost June 14th. It's almost my birthday. Hello. I am doing reading sprints with Jordaline right now, but we're about to end them. And I am filming my birthday unboxing because I'm so excited and I'm having an amazing time. Uh, but I do pause doing that because my blood sugar is low and I needed to make some food. But I wanted to give you a reading update real quick. Let me see how much longer I have. I have seven minutes. We're fine. Um, I want to give you a reading update. I am loving The Hollow Places. I'm loving it. It is so freaking weird. It's so weird. Like, okay, so this is what I wanted from The House at the Bottom of the Lake by Josh Mallerman, which I didn't really enjoy. I gave that two stars. But this book is serving and disturbing it's so weird so like I didn't know what it was about going in and if you don't want to know what it's about going in then just like skip forward like 45 seconds or something but this is about this girl who this woman who just got divorced and she is having a really hard time in her life and she her uncle who owns this like curiosity museum and like taxidermy and curiosity museum his health is like failing and she goes to help him run this shop and for free rent. Sorry. 
I told you my blood sugar is low. If that sound just went off, um, uh, sometimes it does in the video, sometimes it doesn't. But anyway, sorry about that if it did. Um, but she goes for like free rent and to help him. And then he goes to the hospital. And when he's in the hospital, her and the guy who runs a barista find a hole in the museum. But when they go to plaster over it and they look in, they realize that it's in a hallway. And they're like, what the fuck? Like structurally, that doesn't make sense. Like that can't be here. Like, this is where the coffee shop should be. Like, how is there a hallway? And they kind of like stumble into like an alternate dimension. It's fucking weird. It is so wild. It is wild. It's weird. It's cool. I love it. I love it. It's snarky. It's like dark and snarky and grim and it's creepy as shit. It's creepy. I don't know what's happening. Like, I get everything that's going on, but I don't understand how this book is going to end. Like, I don't understand where we're going. I'm, I'm, I'm at 72%. I'm hoping to finish it today, but I do have a lot of more stuff I need to film. Wow, it is hot in this apartment. Hello. Turn that AC back on since I'm not filming right now. But uh, I don't know if I'll be able to finish it today, but that is the, the hope. But I am really liking it. And I realized that I needed to update you because I somehow only tell you that I might start a book and then I catch you when I'm finished with the book reviewing it. So this is me 72% of the way in. I have not heard anything else from Erin, so I don't know if she's reading it right now. She said she was going to, but I don't know if she started yet. But anyway, I'm liking it, and maybe I'll hit you back up tonight, or we'll jump cut to me on my birthday tomorrow. This is the aftermath of my unboxing. Dude, you can't even tell how many books that is. Like, are you kidding me right now? And then this is... All I'm kind of freaking out. Y'all are like, I can't, I can't put it into words. I can't, I won't. There's no way. I, I love you guys. I really do. Like, I really, truly love y'all. You're so fucking nice and sweet and generous and kind. I, I, I learn from y'all, honestly. Like, I learn from y'all what to do because I would never be this kind. Like, I, I learn to be kind from y'all. I learned to be generous from y'all. And now that I say that, I need to go think about what I'm going to buy the cancers in my life because I have a lot of cancers in my life. And their time is coming. And I need to go think about what I'm going to buy them. So I'm going to call it a night. Thank you. Hi, quick update. <laughs> because Grace is outside. Where is she? She literally said she was here. I don't know where she is. She's, she's outside somewhere. She's picking me up so we can go to Dunkin' Donuts to get my free birthday drink. Because Starbucks is supposed to give you one, but I can't find it. So I don't know what's going on with that. But uh, I look like a freaking wreck. I'm, I'm, st I'm staying in my jams. We're not changing. We were supposed to go to the aquarium, but then Beth, or Grace and I both woke up at 1 p.m. So we need coffee so fucking bad. Okay, let's do it. There is only Best friend! Hi! My chariot awaits. Wait, is K the name of the brand or is it? Oh, oh is it a necklace? Oh, that's so cute! Yeah, I got a tangle. Oh, shit, I look good. Yes, I love gold necklaces. I'm gonna wear it today. Thank you. I'm gonna assume because it's a K. Or the K is right. That's fucking cute. Uh, Damn, my quality is looking real nice. Look at that shit. You see texture and everything. Okay, shit. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to love. Not afraid to love. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to love. Not afraid to love. They always pray on the lonely. But with you here, nothing can scare me. After you, milady. Then I bought this. This I um, bought here the other day. This is really good. This, Olivia and Gavin. We're gonna recommend this, yeah. To read to uh, Sabrina.
I'm not gonna lie, if they had both of them, I would absolutely buy it. Thank you, guys. $47. I don't know. I want to see people commenting that I've read this series. Because I read these back in the day when they came out. I've never heard of this before, so you're gonna have to tell me okay, what it's about. It's about like a teenager who was raised by his uncle with all these like spy training kind of things. It's very like Enola Holmes, but like <sighs> really, but, like with a like almost um, like uh, 007 vibes or something, but for teenagers. Snakehead. They made a movie out of it. <laughs> they had to have. confused my name's katie this girl's grace or is it am i grace is this katie i don't know Who is no. it? <laughs> nobody we work with can literally tell did i tell you that jency the other day was like oh i know that makes you so bad and I, he lives for it okay. anytime i get mad at somebody for not calling me katie he lives he's like oh my god anyway uh, <laughs> okay It literally that always happens the well, second I start talking. I burped and then I blew it that way <laughs> at the same time, so it's okay. <laughs> it was trying to cover you? Yeah. Got it. Okay, there are two books that I bought for myself. I don't think either of them were hardback, and it sounds like it has something other than a book. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Yeah, there's something sliding around in there on top of the book. That's not just the receipt. Oh! Okay. okay. I'm only testing to see if this is the book I bought for myself. I don't think I bought a hardback, and this feels like a hardback. So what do you think? Does it feel like a hardback? Mm -hmm. No, the white paperback. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see who wait, wins. Wait, it has a tear tab. Let's try it. Oh my, well, never has I, never have I done something so satisfying. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a really short chapters. I could physically read it, but I won't. Hmm? I literally, I especially that. if I'm listening to an audiobook in bed, I'll have all the lights off and I'll just be like, <laughs> my phone, just at the cover, <laughs> just listening to it. Why? Even like recursion or something where it's not oh, a picture. Oh, my God. It's literally it's just, just two colors and a word. It's a word. <laughs> I don't know why. It's like, cause I have to be looking at something maybe? I don't know. It's cause it's the vibes. Yeah. It is the vibes. But then if I got recursion and it had a picture of someone on the front cover, instead of just the colors and the two words, I would be like, I don't know. I don't want it. No, it's cause that's a stranger to you. Yeah. If you had been looking at that person while you're reading it, yeah. even if I don't like you, I connect. <laughs> but funny. this, I connect. <laughs> Like, I don't know who these motherfuckers are, but to me, I'm like, y'all love each other. <laughs> like, it's so good. Hmm. Okay. Um, maybe? Do, do you remember me talking about this? I, I mm, thought I was dreaming, but yeah. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait. Is the book black? No. No? It's brown. No, God, I do not know. <laughs> wait, wait, give me a hint. There's no hint that I can give you. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes! Okay. okay, oh my god! There's there's no hint that I can give you. There isn't. No. Legends and Lattes. Okay, I've never read this book. This is what Erin was like fucking freaking out about. She was like, you have to buy this. There's no audio book. Um, I, do I, listen, do I know what this book's about? Uh, no. Erin told me to read it and I listened to her at all costs. Like, I literally remember dreaming about <laughs> trolls making lattes. <laughs> you were like, there's literally nothing I can say. <laughs> I can't hint at anything. <laughs> and then I saw the cover and I was like, literally. 
<laughs> what can you say? <laughs> You're like, I'm it's... looking for something. <laughs> I just imagine you going, imagine Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Shop AU <laughs> yeah. of Shrek. Okay. It has to be the one I bought for myself because it's not as delivered. And this is the last package. Okay. I know what it is. If this is not the Hollow Places by T. King Fisher, I'm honestly confused. Hold on, let me show you the other version. So, this is the UK paperback. Listen, we're not going to say not stunning, okay. but why is it so small? Ooh. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> Boom! Do I like the size? No, but this cover, bitch. Honestly, the size is kind of throwing me. Which one do I like more? I don't know. Look, this is giving Hannibal vibes. This is yeah. giving the mist. Yeah. Will this, will these clips ever see the light of day since we are drunk at who knows when? I don't know, but it's funny. It'll and just we be had a, fun. a mashup of all of us laughing <laughs> with no actual talking. <laughs> it's just gonna be like no context. No. no context, no clues, just cue laughter. Mm -hmm. And that's literally it. What? Oh my God, we read each other's minds. I was like, <laughs> Hey, hi. It's technically still my birthday. I don't know if you can tell, but it's 1030. We still have an hour and a half left of, well, actually it's all of Gemini season is a Gemini's birthday, okay? And mine happens to fall like right in the middle. So I get the time before for pre-birthday, I get my birthday and then I get post-birthday. Love to see it. Anyway, I'm having a lot of frustrations right now because I am just really struggling with this new computer. Like. It's not the computer, like the computer's great. I love Donna, Donna's the name of my computer, if you didn't know that, I love her, she's amazing. But I feel so stupid because I don't understand how to use a Mac, like I don't get it. And I, I appreciate that there are people that are like, yeah, like if somebody says that it's easy, it's because they've forgotten, you know, that it was difficult. And if you've been using an HP or like um, Windows for a long time, then you have to unlearn everything you've learned because Mac does everything completely differently. And I am struggling so hard. Like I, I, I hate change. I don't know if you knew that, but I fucking hate change. And I'm so confused and I'm trying to use Final Cut Pro. And when I tell you, I do not understand. Like, and like, I'm not even like at the editing part. I don't understand that like I uploaded all of this footage. Like, okay, for starters, uploading the footage is just a, a bitch and a half. It is a bitch and a half. I don't understand. Anyway, I uploaded the footage and for some reason it came in as JPEGs instead of MOV, but only like half of them did. And I'm like, what? Well, I'm, that's a video, not a picture. What the fuck? So anyway, I'm t dealing with that and that's very frustrating, but I wanted to let you know, reading update, um, I finished The Hollow Places by T. King Fisher and I loved it that shit. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I'm like, am I going to give this five stars? Yeah. Yes. But it's kind of like the five stars of like, remember when I read My Heart is a Chainsaw? And I was like, I can't even explain to you like why I'm giving this five stars, but I am. It's kind of the vibe. Like I love T. King Fisher's writing. She is phenomenal. Like I, I think it's a girl. I think, yeah, yeah. yeah. T. King Fisher is a girl. Okay. I love her writing so much and I was genuinely like laughing reading this book even though it's horror it's like so snarky and dark and grim and grotesque and funny and witty they agree with me um right so no my fridge doesn't have a name it could though what do you think it should be anyway um I loved it it was so fucking weird like it's kind of like Shauna McGuire where like, at, like the actual story is like so far fetched and like weird and the ending, like I was like the ending, it technically didn't really like wow me. Like the ending was like, oh, okay. But I don't know how the fuck she was going to end the book. Like there was literally, there was like no other way to end it. <laughs> and I was like, okay. Like I just had such a good time. 
I had such a good time. And then I was gifted her new release, which is Nettle and Bone. And the book is so fucking pretty. Like, I'm so excited. And then she has another new release coming out in like a month or two. The fuck? And that cover's even better. And it has a fucking bunny on it. It has a rabbit on that shit. I'm so excited. I'm excited. So yeah, I'm hoping that she's going to be my favorite, my new favorite author of 2022. That's the hope and the goals and the prayers. Let me knock on this wooden block. Um... I would love that, but okay. So as I previously mentioned, which actually, by the way, I, Aaron has not reached out to me. Aaron, have you read this book? We we're supposed to buddy read it. And then I guess we both completely forgot. Anyway, um, I started the second book that had won on the poll. Okay, oh God. this is like blasphemous. I feel like I'm saying this. I, I am currently reading Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Susan Lynn Tan, I think is her name. And I am so bored. I am so bored. I don't understand why everybody loves this book so much. Like, everybody's talking about this book. I think, like, Kayla gave it five stars, and she doesn't even read fantasy like that. And I'm like, what? Like, I'm 15% of the way into the book, and the book's, like, 18 hours long. It's not short. And I'm bored. Like, what? Like, I've listened to 15%, but 15% is, like, at least two hours. And I'm just like, who cares? In a short summary, did I tell you what The Hollow Place is about? Oh my god, I fucking hope I did. I hope I... I never remember if I tell you what the books are about or not, and I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I, I hate it for myself. Anyway, Daughter of the Moon Goddess, it's about this girl who, like, her... Uh, it's like her dad could control, like, the sun, and then her mom can control the moon, and they had a kid, but then because of, like, some extra circumstances they don't want like the, the royalty to know that this kid exists so they're like keeping her under wraps but then she gets sent away and she becomes like a maid for like the prince which I'm assuming there's gonna be some romance going on there but like okay two hours for that like I don't know I'm not vibing I just think it's boring I just think it's boring like and it's and it's not like in my opinion, it's not, like, well-written. Like, I'm not like, oh, my God, this writing. I'm like, oh, okay. This is a book. Wow. I really hope I change my tune. I really hope that this changes my mind. But as of right now, I, like, do not want to be reading this. I want to DNF and move on to something else. I don't know. I think I'm going to go read reviews online and see what people say. Anyway, I want to give a giant shout out to my absolute best friend in the entire world, Grace Cox, for giving me an amazing day. An amazing day. Like, we had such a good day. We went to Half Price Books. We looked around for a while. Uh, we went and got, like, Mexican food. We were hanging out. We were in traffic for a long time, just, like, shooting the shit. We were just having a best friend day, and it was freaking amazing. Epic. And we're thinking about going to Barnes & Noble and Costco tomorrow. And when I say, like, the Gemini season is just expanding. Like, we're just having a great time. Anyway, oh my god. Also, I have the book of the book is over there. Hold please. Hi. Hello. Um, speaking of wanting to move on and wanting to DNF something, this is it's not about it's not the book. It is not the book's fault. This is not something where I'm like, I don't like this book. Like this book is bad or it's like not well written or whatever. No, no, no. I just don't like really care. I just don't really care. And I definitely don't care enough to physically read it. And I do have the um, audio on hold. So I think I'm just going to wait for the audio to come in and listen to it that way. But I'm telling you right now, Charlie is too awkward. He's too, like, much of a bumbling idiot. And I'm like, it's not even, like, funny anymore. It's, like, tragic. Like, it, it's hard to watch. He is such an idiot. I'm like, it's, it's, Dev is great. Charlie is, like, there's no way he could act like this and still be the main character on this reality show. It's just not possible. It's not possible. Like, he's just doing too much. Like, it's like a comedy of errors. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I am going to soft DNF this for right now until I like, get the audiobook. And I... I don't know what I'm going to pick up next physically. Probably a manga just to, like get this shit moving and shaking. But anyway, I am going to go make another double margarita because I need fucking sustenance because I'm so frustrated on my computer right now. 
will any will this vlog even end up getting edited because i'm just gonna be so mad i don't know <laughs> night quick pop in quick pop in it is whoo 2 a.m okay listen I got to like 27% of the way through the book, okay? Which is far enough, in my opinion, because that's like four and a half hours. Listen, I went and watched five different people's YouTube videos about Daughter of the Moon Goddess. I, I, I was like, I'm not going to watch one person's review. I'm going to watch multiple people's reviews, okay? And I watched Kayla, and Kayla said, I got halfway through the book, and I DNF'd it. Okay. And then she went and watched another, or she read another fantasy book and then came back to this book and then ended up giving it five stars. And she was like, I would tell people, if you're halfway through the book, keep going. I can't get halfway through this fucking book. Kayla, what are you talking about? I literally wanted to message her and be like, I need you to explain to me why I should care about this book. But I was like, I don't want to be rude because obviously she loved it. That's great that she loved it. Amazing. I don't know how she found the fucking willpower to get through this book, but I'm like 26, 27% of the way through and I don't give a single shit. It's so boring. This book is boring. It's so YA. It's so like meandering. Nothing is fucking happening. And the shit that is happening is boring. It's just a girl being like a maid and that's it it is like it's just who cares i don't am i the only person to say that online i don't know i don't care i do not understand the hype behind this book i really do not understand the hype behind this book i get that it has pretty editions of this book but for what for why it's boring it is so boring it's not well written. It is not well executed. It is not well written. It's clearly a debut. I don't understand why people are falling over their feet for this author. I just don't get it. <sighs> okay. Nothing against her. I'm sure she's an amazing woman. Great. Cool. I'm going to DNF this book. I'm going to hard DNF it. I'm not going to pick this back up. I don't care if people tell me that after the halfway point, it's amazing. I don't care. I don't care. It's not worth the slog of the first eight hours. Like eight hours to get to the second half or like eight and a half hours to get to the other eight and a half hours. I don't have eight and a half hours in my life to fucking waste. Okay, so we're going to move on to All Your Perfects by Colin Hoover and I will see you tomorrow. Hi, it's been a freaking minute. It's been a freaking minute. I know I do this in every like quote unquote weekly reading vlog. I can't remember the last time it was actually consecutively like a week of time in a reading vlog. And if it was a week that I actually remember to film on every day. <laughs> Hi, um, it's been like at least five days since I talked to you last. It's been like a week. It's been a freaking minute okay and I honestly have no excuse as to why it's been so long other than that like I genuinely forgot that I was making this vlog like I genuinely like forgot what okay let's wrap things up a little bit one I am having a lot 
of frustrations, difficulties, anxieties with this new computer. Now I fully, like I am blessed, blessed to have this computer. It's amazing. Like I am proud of myself for making the purchase finally um, for spending the money. I'm upset it took so long obviously to get here, but like I'm happy to have it. I know that it is an amazing piece of technology, but I feel like an actual like moron when I'm using it. Like I feel stupid and I hate feeling stupid. Like you probably know that from like books that if a book makes me feel dumb, I'm like, this book is one or two stars. Like absolutely not, no. <laughs> and this computer, it's such a big learning curve and it's really frustrating to be trying so hard to make content and being like unsure of its quality and unsure of like, like say um, the software I was using on my HP, which I still have, I'm staring at it right now. The software I was using there, I knew what level to make the volume to like, you know, make it applicable for YouTube. Where now when I'm using Final Cut Pro, I'm like, I don't know if it's too loud, if it's too soft. Like I, I still haven't uploaded a video. Like I will be, oh my God, tomorrow. What? Oh shit. Tomorrow, it, I'll post my birthday unboxing. And that's the first video that I've completely edited on Final Cut Pro and I'm just very wary, very wary, like what me? And then this video, I haven't even attempted to start editing it. And like, there's just, and there's a sponsorship that like I need. Hopefully I will have put it in this video cause I need to come out with it in June and June is like over halfway over like. I put off doing things that I don't know how to do. Can you tell? <laughs> Hi, hello, my name is Katie Coulson and I fucking hate change. I hate change. Okay, but since it's been a minute, I have some updates on books and I also have some boxes to open, some I bought myself and some I believe were sent to me for my birthday because I did get messages like on Patreon and Instagram saying like, hey, it's gonna arrive a couple days later and I kept them to open in this outro. But I will tell you that I finished The Charm Offensive and I have things to say. I didn't like this book. I did not like this book. And apparently I'm the only human being in the world that didn't like this book. <laughs> Okay, there's nothing like inherently wrong with this book. It's not like, oh, it's bad or it's problematic, but I did not like it. Like there were things about it I liked. Like there was times where they would mention like bisexuality, asexuality, demisexuality with such an amazing like respect and honesty. And I really enjoyed that. Like um, Charlie's best friend in this book, Parisa, is amazing. But I'll say this real quick. The audiobook is so bad. The audiobook is so bad. The guy, there's a man that narrates this. Obviously, the two main characters are men, but the way that he narrates women is vile. Like, I'm like, have you ever met a woman in your fucking life? If you've ever met a woman, you can't be straight. And if you are straight, you have never had sex with a woman because no one would ever let you, a woman would never let you touch them if this is what you think women sound like. It's like, it's disrespectful, to be honest. Like it, it's don't do not listen to the audiobook. Ab, uh, Gabby told me not to listen to the audiobook, and then I was like, "Well, I'll give it a shot." No, and I immediately was like, "Absolutely not! Not listening to the audiobook. Like I'll physically read it." Blech. So bad. Don't do that. But here's the thing: Charlie in this book is a caricature, and it's it's a big character of like the bumbling idiot, and it's too far. Like Alice Cochran just takes it too far. Like he's too over the top, awkward, and fumbling and bumbling and kind of dumb and then it turns into like this OCD thing where I'm like I enjoy the OCD representation but like the way that he was acting in the beginning was not something you could really attribute to OCD and then it kind of flips it on its head and then all of a sudden it's about OCD and I was like what what I don't know I did not like this I'm gonna give it two stars I didn't like it um there were parts of it I liked but like this is a big letdown for me like this might be like my biggest disappointment so far <laughs> 2022. So that is going to end for the book part of this, but I do have an unboxing little moment. Let's, let's get to it because this outro has been like a bajillion years long, but I have a package. Wait, okay. It's for me. I always like panic. I'm like, is this for me? And did I buy it for myself? Because I, I always cut it out. I, I always cut it out, but there's been so many times where I open a box thinking it was something that was sent to me and it's like, I bought it. I always cut it out of my videos, but let me tell you what happens all the time. <laughs> Oh, it's wrapped. That's cute. Happy birthday, Bunny. This is by an indie author I enjoyed. Thank you for the chaotic energy. Without you, I wouldn't know I am ace. Your visibility matters. See you on the next sprint from Danielle. <sighs> the 
That is so sweet. That means so much to me. Um, I don't think you understand. I don't think you that. Oh my god. Yeah. That is so fucking nice. Like, <laughs> it's like disgusting how nice it is. I don't understand. Wait, have I heard of this? This kind of sounds familiar. Lies and Bone, a novel, Natalie Simons. I feel like somebody told me to read this. What? Oh my god, they're such short chapters. We fucking love to see it. Damn, Danielle. I mean, based on your note alone, like, I have to read it because that note was so fucking sweet. So, thank you. This book, this is really heavy. Listen, I don't want to say what I think it is. I don't want to say what I think it is because I always feel like if I say what I think it is and then I open it and it's not that, then it's going to seem like I'm disappointed and that I wish I'd had that book instead. But that's not true. I just love guessing what it's going to be, but I've never said it all out because I don't want to be like come off as rude, but this is really heavy and I feel like it's Ordinary Monsters. That's the heaviest book that I have on my wish list. Like I don't have any books that are even near that weight. So like... I feel good about it. <laughs> except it's better. Except it's better. Except I never thought. Except I did not, would not have never thought. Um, what? I, okay, I'm, I'm going to stop and tell you that I couldn't be more wrong. I'm going to stop and tell you I couldn't have been more wrong, but I couldn't be more happy about being wrong because what the fuck? Enjoy your gift. Cannot wait to see what you make from Audrey Stickney. I can't wait to see what you make. That's so fucking sweet. Okay, hold on. I can't believe you would do this for me. Oh my god. The 12 piece acrylic set from Li Liquitex Basics Acrylics. Are you kidding me? So these are the um, paints that I use for my reading journal, but I only have the primary colors and not just like these primary colors. Like literally, um, I don't even have orange. All I have is red, blue, brown, white, black, and green. And that's it. The only colors I have. So I have to like mix and match and like keep mixing until I get the color that I need for a book cover. But this has like a fucking turquoise. It has like orange. It has all these different shades. And I was running out of a lot of these shades anyway. So like you, I was about to say you've changed my life, but like, you, I mean, you kind of have because I needed these. I really needed these. Thank you so fucking much. You got the perfect set because I need primary colors. I can always mix and match. And these are a perfect size. Like they're not too big. They're not too small. It has a white and a black, which we always need to make different colors. Like this is so fucking nice, Audrey. And like, I'm so excited to see what I can create too, because this just gives me so much bigger, like broader range of motion and possibility. And I can't thank you enough because this is such such an amazing gift. Okay, this is the last thing, and honestly, thank God, because I can't handle anything else. Like, I can't. I can't. Y'all are too nice. You're too nice. You're too generous. It's... Uh... I can't handle it. Okay, this is from Andrea, and she had asked me to be on the lookout for this, and I don't... I don't know how to open this box. Like, there's so much tape. Hold on. This is the softest t-shirt I've ever felt in my entire life. Wait, I'm gonna change into this right now. Okay, this feels amazing. Also, I just wanted to take my bra off, but like, it feels so good. Like, where did you buy this from? Because this shirt feels like a cloud. Hold up. I asked and Andrea delivered. Oh, you know she put that damn sticker right on the damn front there. Wait, is this one of those ones where... There's no spine. There's no spine. It's just perfectly... Fl <sighs> I love it. I love the utilitarianism. I love bu the bunny with the... That's so me. This is me. This literally is my brand. If there was a knife in its other hand, you couldn't be more me if you fucking tried. This is amazing. Like... Andrew, okay, I've got to open the letters now, but like, I'm blown away. And some stickers of a bunny drinking Duncan. If, in your honor, if you like the design, I can send it to you. What? You, you made that? Wait, you made this design? I need it. I need, I need it. I need it. I need it. I need it. No, I'm dead ass. 
Could you do one of these and then like another one and they be my Patreon like tiers? Like I did, I like I know I, I want to make this like my Patreon tier logo. I'll make this my logo on Streamyard. No, no, bitch, please send me this. Please send me this. I'm, I'm actually obsessed. Like you're amazing. Thank you so fucking much. Like you have blown my mind. Like uh, God, how do you, how do you pick such amazing shit? Like, uh, uh, okay. <clears throat> I'm like sweating and I have my temperature set to 69 degrees and I'm sweating because I'm that over the moon. I'm obsessed with all of you. Y'all are amazing. I need to make a third margarita because I'm a star being emotional and an air sign would never. Okay. I am going to have to call this vlog a deal. Because I think it's probably like two hours long. Like this vlog is gonna be so fucking long. It's insane. Um, wow, my hair's gotten long. What? Do you remember the beginning of my booktube career? My hair was this short? Do you guys fucking remember that? My hair doesn't remember that. It was like, bitch who? <laughs> bitch, we grow a mile a minute. Hello. Um, hi. So if you have gotten to the end of this feature length film, uh, one, thank you. Two, are you okay? Because like, How'd you get to the end of this? I don't understand. Um, could I listen to myself talk for two hours? Yes, but I love myself. So, <laughs> um, thank you so much. Let's see. If you have gotten this far into the video, leave the bunny. Leave the bunny emoji. For so many reasons, but especially for this reason, I am well and truly obsessed. So thank you all for joining. I will hopefully have this video well edited and up in a seemingly timely manner. Just knock on all the wood I have around me. <laughs> also crying. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone, always, and especially to the bunnies and especially to the duchesses. You make my whole fucking life. You have changed my life in more ways than I can ever fucking explain. And I can't thank you enough. I will never be able to thank you enough. You are absolutely amazing. All of you are fucking amazing. I oh, love you. Okay. I'm going to call it a freaking night, okay? Because I'm overwhelmed with emotion. Emotion. Eh. Okay. Have an amazing day, evening, night, dusk, oh, dawn, or whatever it is you're having in whatever part of the world you're having it in. And I will see you in a video <sighs> coming soon. Bye.